Windows 11 is here, and it's not just a fresh coat of paint, it's a whole new operating system with powerful features and a redesigned interface. But here's the catch, Windows 11 needs a beefy computer to run smoothly. Older devices might struggle to keep up, why the higher demands? Windows 11 incorporates advanced technologies like AI and real-time graphics rendering. These features require a lot of processing power and memory. Think of it like this, you wouldn't expect a 10-year-old car to perform like a brand new sports car, would you? The same principle applies to your computer. To experience the full potential of Windows 11, you need a system that can handle the load. Don't worry, we'll break down exactly what you need in the following sections. One of the standout features of Windows 11 is Microsoft Copilot, your very own AI assistant built right into the operating system. Imagine having a super smart sidekick that can help you with tasks, answer questions, and even generate content. Pretty cool, right? But Copilot isn't just some basic chatbot. It leverages the power of cloud computing and machine learning to provide a truly intelligent and personalized experience. All this processing power comes at a cost. Hardware requirements, Copilot needs a powerful processor, plenty of RAM, and a fast storage drive to function seamlessly. Without these hardware essentials, Copilot might feel sluggish or unresponsive. It's like trying to run a demanding video game on a low-end PC. You're not going to have a good time. When it comes to computer performance, the processor is king. It's the brain of your system, responsible for executing every instruction and calculation. Windows 11 demands a modern processor to handle its complex tasks and features. Specifically, Microsoft recommends at least a dual-core processor with a clock speed of 1 GHz or faster. But let's be real, 1 GHz is the bare minimum. For a truly smooth experience, especially with features like Copilot, you'll want something much more powerful. Think of it like this. A 1 GHz processor is like a bicycle, while a modern multi-core processor is like a sports car. Sure, you can technically get around on a bicycle, but a sports car will get you there much faster and with a lot more style. RAM, or random access memory, is your computer's short-term memory. It's where your computer stores data that it's actively using, allowing for a quick access and processing. Windows 11 requires at least four gigabytes of RAM to run, but again, that's the bare minimum. With four gigabytes of RAM, you might experience lag and slowdowns, especially when multitasking or running demanding applications. Think of RAM like your desk space. The more desk space you have, the more things you can comfortably work on at once. With limited RAM, your computer has to constantly swap data between RAM and your much slower hard drive, leading to those frustrating slowdowns. For optimal performance, 8 GB of RAM is recommended and 16 GB or more is ideal for power users and gamers. Section 5, Storage Space, from HDD to SSD and beyond. Your computer's storage drive is where all your files, applications and the operating system itself are stored. Traditional hard disk drives, or HDDs, are slow and outdated. Windows 11 strongly favours the speed and efficiency of solid-state drives, or SSDs. SSDs use flash memory, similar to what's found in USB drives, to store data. This allows for significantly faster read and write speeds compared to HDDs. Booting up Windows 11 from an SSD is like flipping a light switch, it's almost instantaneous. While HDDs are technically compatible with Windows 11, using one will result in a sluggish and frustrating experience. Trust me, upgrading to an SSD is one of the best upgrades you can make for your PC. Section 6 Graphics Processing DirectX 12 Ultimate and Beyond Windows 11 introduces DirectX 12 Ultimate, the latest version of Microsoft's graphics API. DirectX 12 Ultimate brings advanced graphical features like real-time ray tracing and variable rate shading to the table, enhancing the visual fidelity of games and applications. To take advantage of DirectX 12 Ultimate, you'll need a compatible graphics card. Most modern graphics cards from NVIDIA and AMD support DirectX 12 Ultimate. However, if you're rocking an older graphics card, you might need to upgrade to experience the full visual glory of Windows 11. Remember, a powerful graphics card isn't just for gamers. It also accelerates tasks like video editing, 3D rendering, and even everyday browsing, making your entire computing experience smoother and more enjoyable. Section 7. 
Security First TPM 2.0 and Secure Boot. Windows 11 introduces stricter security requirements, including TPM 2.0 and Secure Boot. These features work together to protect your system from malware and unauthorized access. TPM 2.0, or Trusted Platform Module, is a dedicated security chip that stores encryption keys and other sensitive data. Secure Boot ensures that your computer only boots up using trusted software, preventing boot-level malware from hijacking your system. While these security features might sound technical, they provide essential protection in today's increasingly dangerous digital landscape. Think of them as the security guards of your computer, keeping the bad guys out. Most modern motherboards come equipped with TPM 2.0 and secure boot capabilities. However, if you have an older PC, you might need to check your motherboard's specifications or consult the manufacturer to ensure compatibility. Section 8, out with the old comparing Windows 11 to past versions. Windows 11 represents a significant leap forward compared to previous versions of Windows, both in terms of features and hardware requirements. While Windows 10 could run comfortably on older hardware, Windows 11 raises the bar, demanding more powerful components for optimal performance. This shift towards higher hardware requirements isn't arbitrary. It's driven by the inclusion of resource-intensive features like Copilot, DirectX 12 Ultimate and enhanced security measures. Just like you wouldn't expect a vintage car to compete with a modern electric vehicle, older PCs might struggle to keep up with the demands of Windows 11. Section 9. Is your PC ready for Windows 11 examples and benchmarks? So how can you tell if your PC is ready for Windows 11? Microsoft provides a handy tool called PC Health Check that analyzes your system and lets you know if it meets the minimum requirements. But hardware requirements only tell part of the story. Real-world performance depends on a variety of factors, including the specific components in your system, background processes, and even the temperature of your components. To get a better understanding of how your PC might handle Windows 11, you can refer to online benchmarks and reviews. Websites like Anantech and Tom's Hardware regularly publish in-depth benchmarks of various hardware configurations running Windows 11. These benchmarks can give you a good idea of what to expect in terms of performance based on your PC's specifications. Section 10. The pros and cons. Weighing the benefits and drawbacks. Windows 11's increased hardware requirements come with both pros and cons. On the one hand, these demands pave the way for a more powerful, secure and feature-rich computing experience. Features like Copilot, DirectX 12 Ultimate and Enhanced Security are designed to enhance productivity, entertainment and peace of mind. On the other hand, these requirements might force some users to upgrade their hardware, which can be a significant investment. Not everyone is willing or able to shell out hundreds of dollars for a new PC or component upgrades. Ultimately, the decision of whether or not to upgrade for Windows 11 depends on individual needs and budget. If you're happy with your current setup and don't need the latest and greatest features, sticking with Windows 10 might be a viable option. Section 11, upgrading for Windows 11. Worth the investment? So, is upgrading your hardware for Windows 11 worth the investment? The answer, as with most things in tech, is it depends. If you have an older PC that's starting to show its age, upgrading to a Windows 11 compatible system can breathe new life into your computing experience. You'll enjoy faster boot times, smoother multitasking, enhanced security, and access to all the latest features. Plus, a new PC or component upgrade can last you for years to come, making it a worthwhile investment in the long run. However, if your current PC is still running smoothly and you're not particularly interested in the new features of Windows 11, upgrading might not be necessary. You can always wait for future updates or for your current hardware to reach the end of its life cycle before making the switch. Ultimately, the decision is up to you. Weigh the pros and cons. Consider your budget and needs and make an informed decision that's right for you. Happy computing!